is going on everybody welcome back to the channel i am with a good friend of mine today the one and only king of sting mr zach radford what's going on hope you all having a wonderful day we're gonna hopefully teach you how to hit some stingers that's right so i figured what better way to start off a video with this guy than for him to teach me his secrets to hitting a stinger so we're gonna hit a few stingers here on the range and we're gonna take it to the course we're gonna do like a three hole scramble see how low we can go maybe even hit some stingers into the greens who knows you never know hopefully we can make a birdie or two out there and uh it's gonna be fun the weather is wonderful a little breezy but uh can't complain in the middle of january heck yeah out here at coyote ridge let's just get right into it what do you Sounds say like a plan all right man. so zach's gonna run me through what do you say probably five okay. five key things for hitting a stinger first one ball pretty much middle of the stance so sometimes i'll put it a little forward of middle a lot of people make the mistake of putting it too far back. That's for when I hit the riser, that's just gonna create a lot of spin. So you don't really want that for a true penetrating stinger. Second key fact is 60% of your weight on the front foot. Little weight forward to kind of give you a little help with the descending blow on the ball. All right, the third key point in hitting a stinger is to make sure you're leading hard with the hand. You want that hands pressing very hard it's gonna de-loft the club. I typically use a four iron for most stingers. You can use a three iron or two iron. Some people will use fairway woods. How I hit it, I do go with the irons. Fourth tip is to make sure when you're leading with the hands, you have to rotate your upper body as well. If you lead hard with the hands and don't rotate the upper body, club face is gonna be wide open and it's just gonna squirt out to the right. All right, the fifth and final tip is to make sure to have a loose grip. You want light forearms, kind of think noodle arms. Don't put too much pressure with your thumbs down on the grip just because you're gonna slow yourself down through the hitting zone the more you tense up. Let's see if we can uh, hit a little saucy stinger. First thing I'm gonna work on is getting my hands forward. Making sure my chest is turning toward the target. Correct. Okay, loose arms. Yes. 60, 40. Yes. All right. And just send it. That was close. That was close. That was close. I couldn't tell exactly from here. Ball might have been a little too far back. Okay. So let's try to hit that. All the same thoughts, just move the ball position up a little bit. taking a lot of earth here. These are closer than you think. Okay. They're closer than you think. Okay. So I think the ball was in a good position there. Think good tempo and try to not rush the transition. I topped that one a little bit. Hey, when I first started trying to hit stingers, I spent like almost a whole year until I felt comfortable with them. Yeah. So it does take time. Okay. It does take time. Dude. That was... Okay. That was good. I feel it there. That was great. You're kind of throwing your hands at the ball just a bit. Let's think a little more rotation. That was it. That's it. That was it. I mean, this guy only took about five swings and now he's stinging it with the best of them. And about five pounds of dirt. <laughs> that was so good. I think you're getting it. Hit a few there really well. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and take this thing to the course and see how low we can shoot. Let's do it. Birdie's coming your way. Do we have a goal in mind? I think two under is a great goal. We've got a short er par four here, 356 I think from the back. You can get caught up easily on the right side here and the bunkers on the left are obviously intimidating. So what do you know? A shot straight down the fairway. It's kind of what you need. <laughs> straight, you can't really go wrong with. Y'all are probably ready for us to go ahead and sting it. And that would be the right side that, that I was right referencing. Side. We decided to flirt with the right side. It was a little more right than we were hoping. Hopefully, I think it should be okay. It was just kind of Yeah, open. it kind of opens up after those pines, so, so we should be able to yeah. find it. So I got five wood in hand. I'm not gonna sting with an iron like Zach just yet. Maybe later I will. Dude, great swing. That is right down the middle, maybe a little on the left side. Dude. That is awesome. Okay. Great swing. You know, both players get to hit, take the best and move on. You're gonna have some opportunities for some birdies and hopefully you're able to roll the rock a bit. Oh yeah. Zach, 
the freaking man rolling the rock, pin slammers, what is it, camera dropping eagles? <laughs> I expect nothing but any of those things today. Well, if you're gonna hit tee shots like that, I mean, that's perfect. All right, so we are right here in the middle of the fairway. On my watch, it says we are about 94 yards out. 94, pin does look like slightly back. So let's say 97. That's gonna be my guesstimation here. Okay. Well, hopefully it's right. And you got lob wedge in hand? I do. Alrighty. Okay. Then high, a little left. I like it. I've got 60 degree as well. Dude, that has hit so well. off to the right side of the green that was my first attempt at the zoom i would probably give it like a, a c plus <laughs> c plus all right so all right. two for two on greens we both hit it can't ask for anything better so far so far so good this one might be our best option that one's gonna have a lot of break i agree this one's kind of coming back up the hill it's gonna have some break i don't think it's gonna be too slippery and hopefully won't get away from us if i was gonna take a guess probably rolling like a 13. Yeah, so i'm gonna give mr radford here the line He likes it. Did he hit it? Dang. Dude, good roll. That kind of scared me right there. Drop. Come on. Get in. Oh! Dude, how did it stop? <laughs> what the heck? Yours like, kind of kept trickling, <laughs> kept trundling. I thought, oh. You want right. me to tap yeah, it Yeah, tap us? it in. All right. All right, we're in with the par. Left it out just a bit outside. So. And we are on to hole two out here at Coyote Ridge. This par five is playing 490 yards today, or I guess every day, because it says it on the stone. <laughs> Into the wind here. So and you don't want to miss it right, it looks like. I do end up right about where those guys are most of the time. Okay. And if you do hit that tree line, there's a hill that drops down to the other fairway. That'll just trundle and yeah. trundle and trundle. And it'll keep going and going. Dude, thanks for having me out here today. This Dude, of course, are you kidding me? Zach Robertson town, I gotta get a video with him. <laughs> so I guess a little backstory while we're waiting here. If you guys didn't know, I actually about a year ago was editing for Zach. I did a few videos, probably what, maybe eight weeks worth. Mm -hmm. To this day, I still do like his thumbnails and stuff, which is really fun. I just have a blast doing thumbnails. Y'all already know this. He is super talented at what he does. Like I, <laughs> yes, he's unbelievable, and I'm just excited to be on his channel. Well, hey, I appreciate that. Like, big time, seriously. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I think I that think, should be pretty good. I think that'll play. I think it's like down the right side of the fairway, but it should be a good angle into that green, it looks like. Oh, yeah. So I hit that one pretty well. That was so solid. We're in good shape. Looking like you bombed this thing. Yeah, we are well inside 200 here. 183, it looks like. Dude, I'll take that all day long. Mm -hmm. Every day that ends in Y. I think I'm going to go with a 7 iron. The wind is kind of hurting a little bit off the right. So I think it's probably going to be playing 190. It does look to be slightly uphill. Probably same for you, if not an 8 iron. You were hitting your 7 iron a mile on the driving range earlier so i don't know maybe eight for you <laughs> it's looking good tough to tell in the distance from here because the green's kind of sitting up a little bit just a little right of the flag but i think it should be pretty good i think we've got an eagle look doesn't look like you want to be long here so i got 700 in hand Let's see what we can do I did not get out of that bunker, but hey, I was a stinger with a seven <laughs> that iron. Was. That was pretty saucy. <laughs> Being out here with one of the greats, like Zach Radford, I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty intimidating. I mean, we're pretty good friends, and yeah. you know, we talk all the time. He's staying with me for this week or maybe even two weeks, but it is very nerve wracking. So just bear with me, and you know, as this channel grows, it'll be better and better. So I promise you that. Let it flow, and we've got a pretty decent little eagle look right there. Your stinger almost got through the bunker right there. You can see it rolled oh, back yeah. down. If that would have gotten up on the green, it would have been pretty saucy. <laughs> I would have taken it. <laughs> I mean, pretty straight, probably breaking a little to the left. The cup outside to the right. Wow, that slowed down quick. That was my bad, Zach. Oh, no. There we go. Stay. Looks like we got a birdie tap. Go ahead and tap that in for us. Okay. 
right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. One hole left. One hole left. We're still like in good shape to get our two under. We're playing a part three. It is. I'm sure you've watched, you know, GM videos, Matt, Steve, and all them. This is the long 220-ish par three over water. And first time I played it, I actually went long in the green. Second time I played it, I birdied it. And I don't know where that came from, Dude, no but way. it was literally like a 50 foot putt. And it was just rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And right at the end, and it just dropped in the hole. And of course nobody, I mean, literally nobody was around to see it. Oh no. All right guys, so this is it. The very, very dreadful long part three with a huge body of water in between you and the pin. What are your thoughts on this Ooh, hole so far? This is uh, a very good birdie that you made. I was even looking for people like grilling in their backyards. Not a soul was out here. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, yep, that adds up. <laughs> yes, exactly. It is a little help and win. I may hit the same club. I may go seven iron. Mr. Zach with seven iron hand. This is gonna take a quality shot here. A little out left. pins in the middle or front that's actually more in the, the front wind's side. helping a lot wind's helping a lot i'd okay. go with the eight iron okay i am talked into the eight iron which is fine i'm definitely okay with that dude that was hit so well come on draw in there okay yeah yeah it bounced left and rolled on the back side of the green there. yeah dude great shot i will take that Dude. So we should have two looks on the green then? Yes, we do. Okay. Did you hit that eight iron so far? <laughs> okay, so Zach's is actually a lot closer. You wanna grab my putter? Sorry. I got you. Thank you. I got the Z-Rad, my caddy right now. Got it. You're gonna make this putt for us. Oh, I'm gonna make it, yep. okay. You've got great memories on this hole. That's true, I was so. just telling him I was driving up that this is very similar to the bird that I sank here. Probably breaking a little to the left, and it's a pretty thin green. Right, yeah, there's not a lot of width there. It opens up a bit here in the back, but like right up there where that pin is, kind of a narrow part of the green, especially for like outside of 200. Oh, oh, oof. Okay, okay. so <laughs> you just saw the teeth of these greens. Oh my goodness, that thing rolled out. It kept going so long. It's not terribly long, yeah, but it's... It's, it's mm, by no initial. means in, so... <laughs> Hopefully you give us a little shorter look. I'm gonna aim a little bit more to the right, but with a lot less pace. Love it. So hopefully it'll drop when it slows down. Love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with my purse next time, I suppose. I, I thought I took the head cover off of the putter there for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, let's go sync this. All right. Finish one under for the day. Great as an arrow. I probably played a little too much break there. All right, sir. This is your time to shine. Never a That's doubt. It. Never <laughs> a doubt. We this got it. One under. One under. We made a par here. One under for the day. Great putt. Heck yeah. Zach, thank you thank for you. coming out. This was a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this little scramble and a little stinger lesson, the five tips to sting. Yep. We should make it the, the S-T-I-N-G of stingers. You got to come, come up with the names for those letters. You got to learn how to sting it today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. And uh, I'll keep working at those. Yeah. I'll, I'll be posted on Instagram. I'll show you the progress. Right. Are we going to go film a video on your channel right now? We're going to try to. We've got some sunlight. We got some sunlight. So. We're trying to get a six hole in. He's from the tips. I'm from the forward tees. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We will catch you in the next one. And peace out. See you.